good. It does. It feels good. I can't believe it just feels good. <laughs> I'm feeling okay. Feeling good? Yes. Okay, all right. Okay, my name is Lauren Waite, and I'm a teacher from Bradenton, Florida. And I was noticing that my eye was becoming really red and irritated and painful um, after looking on the computer for a long time or driving at night. And I went to several doctors to find out what it was, and I was told that I have a pancreacula in my left eye. And I was told that um, it's just something that I needed to kind of live with and get over. So I did some research and found Dr. Galani online and saw that he does um, very um, newer technology of a stitchless surgery for, um, for taking, taking off the pinguculas and the pterygians. And so I came here and he educated me on all the ups and downs and made sure that I had a very balanced um, view on you know, what I should do for myself in my best interest. And I decided to go ahead with the surgery and I feel great. He took it off and I came back the next day and it looked, you know, it was white and it wasn't as irritated um, and after a couple weeks I'm feeling much, much better, I feel. So um, I'm just very appreciative to Dr. Galani for taking my case into consideration and helping me, give me some options that um, I wasn't given by other doctors. And I'm very glad that I made the three and a half hour trip up to Jacksonville to take care of this and that. I think everybody that has a problem should do the same. Um, as a teacher, and this was the first surgery that I've had, and, um, as a teacher it was important to me to be able to ask as many questions as I wanted to and have straight answers and be given all, um, be able to weigh like the risks and the benefits. And um, I really appreciated that you were able to do that for me. And you did kind of tell me straight out, you know, that it's still major surgery, but um, and you, you laid out the risks and the benefits ahead of time, and so I was aware, like going into it, what what could possibly happen, and so I just appreciate that. Sure, yeah. Thank you so much, Lauren. And as you said, being a teacher yourself, uh, which is also a passion for me, teaching the surgery, even though the outcomes have been consistently so good, it is important for patients to know that this is not magic. You know, this is still surgery. Like any surgery, things can still go wrong. Um, there can still be complications, there can be recurrence, there can be delayed healing, redness, pain. So it is just important knowing those factors before making a decision. And then yes, uh, as a team between you and me, we still strive for excellence and try and get the results that we are known for. But absolutely, as a teacher, I in fact insist uh, that you know, patients ask these questions. And I think some of the other doctors that I had seen before um, kind of just pushed it off as something that I definitely shouldn't do, um, that it would be kind of a waste to, to do something like that. And so, um, I don't know, hopefully you'll be able to educate the rest of them. Well, yes, and the, and the point again is, it's the patient who decides how much something is bothering right. them. As a doctor, I look at myself as an advocate that someone has trusted me, their eyes do, and they expect me to make decisions based on good judgment, your safety and long-term impact. Also keeping in mind that uh, I must address your concerns. So if you have a concern and you feel that this is giving you irritation in the eye, pain and constant redness, there has to be a way to help you. As long as again it's safe, has long-term safety implication and is a successful outcome. So I'm sure many surgeons are looking at these things now. I've been teaching this for quite some time nationally, internationally. And I'm sure many eye surgeons are now looking at this and going, yes, it does bother people. And if it's bothering them, you know, you're an eye doctor, you're supposed to take care of it. And again, not to jump and get cocky about it, but to always do a, a logical decision making. Like in your case, Lauren, remember you came first time, uh, you and me, and then over a year, uh, yes. totally do your research, go home, see if this is really bothering you, see if you still have the same level right. of concern. And only after one year when you came back with the same level, is when me and you said, yes, we both understand that this is something that needs correction. Yep. So, I mean, that's a prototype. I, I, it's amazing. Thanks. Um, since this was my first surgery and I was coming from four hours away, I was really worried about what was going to happen afterwards, if I was going to be able to um, get my questions directly answered by the surgeon again. And every time I've come back, I see Dr. Galani and he takes the time to answer all my questions. 
Um, I called a couple of days right after surgery, a lot of the days after surgery, just to make sure that everything was going okay, and he was able to answer the questions and, and talk to me on the phone then. So um, it was really nice to have you be that communicative and be available to your patients afterwards. I appreciate that. I think that's something that people need to know if they're going to be coming from far away, so that even though I'm a couple hours away, I can still I can still talk to you and, and make sure everything's going okay. Sure. And uh, whether someone comes from far or near, uh, Lauren, I think it's a surgeon's responsibility to make sure that uh, post-operatively, also they are following up with the same diligence because, uh, like you said, it's your first surgery, it's your eye. Patients always are apprehensive. So it makes them comfortable, especially if as a surgeon who knows what he did. Right. You answer yourself or make sure you're seeing the patient yourself, which I think is a must. And again, uh, congratulations. It's uh, been a real pleasure. Thank you very much. Okay.